the um, funding for people with mental health issues so they don't have to go through what I did to actually get sufficient help. I want to be a performer. I would like to have a job and friends. I want people to be happy. I want to be a singer. But no more, I want to be a YouTuber and actor. So, co-production, what does it mean to you? Well, I think the most important thing is what it's not. Maybe starting with what it's not. It's not consultation. That's the mistake I think some people make. It's certainly a mistake I made some years ago. We used to consult people a lot um, about what we were planning on doing. And we always responded to what people told us, but we'd started down the line. By then we already had ideas and I think co-production is just you're with each other from the first moment you have the thought about something and you start sharing thoughts and ideas about it. The change will be made um, and then it will be formally published, if that's the right word, by August the 1st. I suppose one of the biggest changes in recent years, because the legislation has changed, I mean, let's be honest, that's what's, that's what's made it happen, is the fact that we don't just do this together. It's not no. the local authority, the education bit of the local no. authority with Family Voice. No. Um, through the partnership working, it is um, health, uh, it is care. our social care colleagues. Yeah, yeah. working all together. Yeah. That's the big change. Norfolk's local offer is a shining example of co-production within Norfolk. Family Voice Norfolk has been involved in its development from the very beginning, when it was a work stream of the Children and Families Bill, later to become the Children and Families Act 2014. Families' views were key to shaping the local offer, from the earliest planning meetings through focus groups and testing stages. The work isn't over though. Information, provision and interest for families with children and young people with special educational needs and or disabilities, SEND, are always changing and the local offer needs continually to develop and improve too. One of the big things that we've done recently is regarding um, you know, the child development centres and the difficulties that some of those areas have been having around their waiting times and recruitments and that's, mm. you know, such like. Mm and having lots of concerns around parents raising awareness of their disappointment in seeing people in a timely way. Mm. So what's been happening is that in order to make that and improve that, they have decided to set up a sort of parent user group to try to really get the voice of families mm. involved in that group. Mm. Family voice members shouldn't be any different to me as yeah. people in my team or people that's in the right. social work teams. Yeah, and, and I think that's a good point that that we see each other as equals rather than anyone higher than yeah. anybody else. I liken it to making a cake. If you was making a cake for lots of people, um, you would ask the people who were going to eat the cake what they wanted from that cake. Yes. Otherwise the ingredients and everything would be wasted on a cake that nobody wanted to eat. So um, I see it like that. So if we're in at the beginning, chances are we're going to get it right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So we find out what sort of cakes we like. Yes, that's right. And then we get that mix and away we go and get the provision right. From a local authority point of view, it you have to invest in co-production. You can't just meet every now and again. You have to really sort of do this. 
on a very regular basis. But over a period of time, the benefits are very clear because um, in a selfish way, <laughs> you do the work for us. Yeah. So if it's something like uh, refreshing how the local offer looks or helping to write some leaflets so that we can get information out about what schools should be doing compared to what the local authorities should be doing. Um, it's not just my teams I know that are going to work on that. Your, you and your members actually will pr help produce some of that. So there is a, there's a payoff for the extra time and effort that we have to put in. Anyone can help shape the local offer. Just tell us what you think. It's truly co-production in action. Our aim is to provide the best opportunities for all the children and young people in Norfolk.